Hey guys, in this video, we're going to know how to download Visual Studio Code and set up the environment for Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or any other language that you work on. So first of all, what you need to do is go to the link that I provided in my description, and this, this is the page you'll see. Now, according to your OS, you can download for Mac, maybe Linux or Windows. In my case, this is Windows, so I'm gonna click the download button here, Windows, and it will start downloading within seconds. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again, but you just have to click save here instead of cancel. So after, after you download the Visual Studio code, all you have to do is double click it and it will start downloading. So what you should do is click on I accept the agreement. Next, choose the location you want to download the Microsoft Visual Studio code. I think the default is good for me and I click next. Then do I want it? Uh, yes, I do want it. Then now there are some things that you need to check here before you go ahead and just click next. So the first of all, this is an additional option that you might want or might not want. In my case, I like an option to have a desktop icon. And then I think adding an open with code action to Windows Explorer file content menu is a good choice for you because if imagine if you are working on different directories and you just have to open directly to the Visual Studio code, you can do it with that. Same goes with this option. And this option is uh, required for you to do. I mean, it will help you in future code uh, projects that you'll do, you'll know it. And then click next. And everything is set, click install. So now as you can see, it is installed. Now you have to check this button, launch Visual Studio Code. And if you do not check it, you can just uncheck it and click finish. And then open the Visual Studio Code, right? So after you open the Visual Studio code, you get this window here. Your one might not look similar in color theme and stuff, but that is just a different themes that you can install in Visual Studio code. It's simple, I'll just show you in a bit, but don't worry if the color theme is not similar, then you have probably the same version as I am right, right, right now. So in order for you to run and upload or maybe open different folder, what you should do is here, click here and click on open folder. Right now, in, in my case, I have a folder, or I'll create a folder on my desktop, and I'll name it Tutorial. I do not know what I'm doing here. Okay, Tutorials, and I'll select this folder here. Now, it is this folder is open now, and if you don't know why opening a folder is necessary, is because now, if you run any, okay, it's complicated, but if you open any other directory inside this folder, you don't have to tell the exact location of the file, but if you do not understand what I'm saying, you don't have to because you're a beginner, you'll learn it while you learn coding. So now some of the most uh, necessary stuff is extension for different language you want to do it. So if you are a guy who wants to do Python, you have to install Python. Extension here, this one, you have to install this sort of extension to run a Python code in your file. I'm considering that you've already installed Python, so that's why you need this. So there's another one which you have to install here is PyLens. So I'm showing you all this right now, but probably Microsoft, this um, Visual Studio Code is smart enough to give you notification on your right side to tell you what you need to install and what not. And usually that's about 95% times all the things you need. So yeah, you can install this PyLens as well, which will be required. And then if you are someone who wants to do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you need, you might need this. This is live server here. So what this do is by, you can open your uh, local address onto your browser and keep on coding and the changes will take effect immediately, which is pretty handy and you don't have to reload the pages again and again. I guess um, that's it. That's all the things you need. Now let's just see if I create a new Python file here. I'll just say hello.py. Wow. And now if I run a normal simple program, the most basic one, you know where this is going. And let's just say you want to print hello world. Now right click on it and there will be an option called run Python file in terminator. Terminal. Terminator. Hello. And there you go, there it is, hello world. You can do a much more complex things as well. Let's just see it's running or not. Let's just say A is equals to input. And I want to input um, your name. And I'm going to print 
um, this is my name. There you go. A. If you don't know the code here, you don't have to. I'm just setting it. It's working perfectly fine. There you go. My name. My name here is just say my name is Ronak, and this is my name. Well, this is a very simple code. You can go much more complex. And if you're someone who are starting to learn Python, I'm going to make me few courses on Python beginners course. If you want to learn from me, you can subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Subs if you loved it. Comment down below if you have problem with this tutorial. I'll be there for you to help you. That's it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Thank you.